Hi, right, it's another math. Easy solution. Let's discuss some um, trigonometric proof and look at the uh, law of cosines. I'll show what it is and I'll show geometric proof. So basically, the law of cosines is if you have a triangle like this, and and uh, let's say this angle is A, this uh, this angle is, let's say B, this angle is C, and then these are just lengths A to C. This was A. Actually, this one. This one we'll call this A. This one we'll call this. We'll call this one A just to correspond with these. Then basically what it says here is, uh, well, if you want to go C squared, this is just going to be equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB times cosine of C. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is similar to the Pythagorean theorem, except you have this section here. It's actually true for the Pythagorean theorem as well, but you'll have cosine C is 0. So now, if we, uh, and, and this is similar for all the, all the lengths, so you'll just get also, yeah, so you get the same uh, here, b squared, just, you just, uh, yeah, b squared is a squared plus c squared minus 2ac equals b, similar to this way. So if you have uh, b squared, you have a and c and a and c here, b, c, b, c, whatnot. So the, that's basically what it is, and here's a easy proof you could do. You basically just draw a triangle out again, draw a big one, so um, I could draw a bit neater. So let's just uh, draw angle C here. This is, uh, we'll call this angle C, big C, and this is a small C for the length. Okay, so we have, um, and now here what we do is, we'll just draw a vertical line down down this thing. So we'll have, so if this is length, let's say B, and we'll call this length, this full length, A. So now we'll just draw this length here from here to here as X. This is a perpendicular one, and this is Y is the, the the height up there and from here to here this this uh, length here is just going to be a minus x we just subtract that so now what we could do here we know that in this case y yeah so basically y over b is just going to equal to cosine i mean not cosine sine c this is just definition of uh, sine and then if you rearrange it we get y is equal to b sine C and then also similarly you got X is going to be equal to B cos C because basically that's the definition of uh, sines the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse and cosines adjacent over hypotenuse or X over B so we have these these form uh, these values right here and now C squared is basically if we look at the uh, Pythagorean theorem C squared is just going to be equal to, because this is a right angle triangle, well, it's just going to equal to y squared plus this length here, a minus x squared. So that's that's basically what it is. And then if you expand this out, and also, uh, yeah, so we'll get, so C squared, just drag it down here, is equal to y squared plus, this one will expand out, a squared minus 2ax, you just times it out, that's what it is, plus x squared. Okay, so now we have, yeah, so we have the, these two functions, and now if you just plug in these values of of uh, b is cos uh, of x and y, so we'll just get y squared, this one's equal to, well, b squared times sine of c. Uh, this is squared as well, and this one here is just a squared. Then minus 2a and x, which is just b cos c. And then plus, I'll just pl put a plus here, plus x squared, which is well, b squared. This b squared times cos squared of c. So we just rearrange this to make it look a bit uh, nicer. We'll just go a squared, which is here. And then here, plus b squared, we just we'll put these together. We'll have c squared, we take the b squared out of there, so we'll have sine squared c plus cos squared c, and then subtracted by 2ab cos c. So yeah, and if you see my other video on this one, uh, basically uh, sine squared plus cos squared equal to 1. See the proof of that one, and so then if we put it to 1, then we'll just have a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos, cos c, and that's what c squared is equal to. 
So there's the cosine law. Just write cosine. There's a little proof of it, and also uh, for a right angle triangle, uh, Pythagorean theorem, we get if it's a right angle here, then this is let's say a a b c. So then we'll have c squared, and uh, we'll just call this. Yeah, so this is 90 degrees, so we'll have c squared uh, is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos of 90. 90 degrees, and we all know that cos of 90, if you have it like this, this is if you cosine 90 here is 90, this is adjacent of our hypotenuse, adjacent is 0 h is or well, whatever h so we'll have 0 over h and equal equals to 0 so this cancels and then we're just left with c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared so yeah this is a uh, pythagorean theorem yeah and you can see another proof of of, uh, of this separately but yeah we just proved it as well pythagorean theorem proof because we're just using the law of cosines so yeah, that's a simple proof for that. Okay, so now if we do a little example here, let's say we have, so let, let's say I just, we have body of water here or whatnot, and we know that from here to here, let's say, we, if we draw this length here, let's say this is water or whatnot, just, uh, and then we have, let's say that we know this length here, this is, we'll call this, okay, so we know these two lengths here, this one is 820 meters, and this is 910 meters from here to there. And we know that this angle is 103 degrees. So basically we want to know what's this full length of this, uh, of this water or river or whatever this is. So basically we'll just call this C and we just use the cosine law again. We'll go C squared is equal to, well, these are, this is basically A and B, we'll just go 820 meters squared plus 910 squared minus 2 is 820 910 times cosine of 103 degrees. So we plug this in the calculator. So we just plug into Google here and this is with Firefox. We'll just plug these numbers in. So this here we'll get 820 plus 910 minus 2 times 820 times 910 times cosine 103 we'll just write degrees just in case it gives us a radius and that basically equals uh, whoops yeah this is a big number I um, miss this is way off and forgot to include the squared and then yeah this would make more sense yeah, so uh, yeah, c squared is equal to 1 million whatever uh, squared that is. So we got to square root all this. Uh, we'll just put this in here. So we'll square root this. Square root. And that is, yeah, 1.355 kilometers. So we'll just write that down. So then uh, we get something like c, or we'll just square root this. Screw this all, so we'll get c is equal to one three five five meters. Well, that's a easy way of uh, yeah. Is a quick example application you could use the cosine law. Basically, if you all you need to do is measure this in here, and you can get the length of this um, this body of water, river, or whatnot. And this is a, yeah, this is just um, yeah. I wasn't I didn't even know about this uh, right away, but yeah, you could prove the Pythagorean theorem just strictly from the cosine law. And that's the cosine law. Basically, it's really useful when, when you don't have a right angle, and and you can basically solve the distance of any length. All you need to do, all you need to know, is two lengths and an angle, or that this corresponding angle and these two lengths would get this length. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.